high cost of unemployment. Three, and this is mostly among the youth. Three, the high tax burden. And four, the wastage of public resources. And finally, the high public debt. Mr. Speaker, having listened carefully to the concerns from the public and taking cognizance of the socioeconomic and environmental challenges facing the country, the budget policy highlights seeks to provide solutions to the said concerns as we all work towards accelerating economic recovery. Proactively, the Kenya Kwanzaa government has begun the journey to bring down the cost of living and improve the livelihoods, the livelihood, while at the same time fostering a sustainable, inclusive economic transformation. The government has taken long, the long-term sustainable approach of subsidizing production of goods, of goods instead of consumption to respond to the rising cost of living. In this regard, the government has instituted immediate interventions that are aimed at providing short-term solutions to the high cost of living, while at the same time building a momentum for the long-term economic, economic vibrancy and transformation. In particular, the government has covered the following areas. First, through the e-voucher, but raise a subsidy program, are failed to 6 million or of 50 kilogram bags of subsidized fertilizer worth 15 billion uh, that are retailing at a cost of 350 per bag. A reduction from the market price from 6,500 per bag, representing a subsidy of Kenya shillings 3,000 3, per bag. So far, the government has registered 5 million farmers nationwide and issued over 2.5 e-vouchers to registered farmers. As a result, Kenyan farmers have been able to plant at least 200,000 additional acres of food this year and used 2 million more kilograms of seeds and that is expected to improve the agricultural yields. Second, the government has granted duty waivers for importation of key food products such as white maize, rice, yellow maize, soya beans, soya bean meal, assorted protein concentrates, and, and feed additives effective from 1st February to 6th February, to, uh, 1st February this year to 6th August 2023. This has been done in order to bridge the food uh, stocks deficit and will lower the cost of uh, foods, uh, food prices. As a result of the drought that the mitigation measures and the climate adaptation programs, the government initiated a national tree planting campaign that seeks to enhance our national tree cover from 12% to 30% through a target of planting 15 billion trees by 2032. In addition, the government has initiated new dam constructions, constructions to address the drought concerns and ensure Kenya has enough harvested water to facilitate a water management strategy for irrigation uh, and food production. Fourth, in, the government has invested very heavily in biotechnology research and, uh, and, uh, and update an uptake of drought tolerant crops to promote food security, particularly in marginalized areas. In the current year, of 250 metric tons of assorted drought tolerant seeds valued at Kenya shillings 50 million have been distributed in Embu, Meru, Makueni, Mach uh, Machakos, Therakanedi, Muranga, Nyeri, Siaya, and Busia counties. Fifth, the government has reformed the National Health Insurance Fund to meet the urgent needs of Kenyans at the bottom of the socioeconomic structure by actualizing its, pap uh, its purpose as a social medical insurance facility. In addition, the government has committed to deliver universal health, care, uh, health, health coverage to ensure that every Kenyan attains dignified health care as a minimum, uh, at a minimum subscription fee. And finally, reviewed, the government has reviewed the policy on the energy sector with the aim of developing and diversifying this market further by improving the sourcing and supply of cooking gas that inevitably has resulted in high cost, of, high, high cost 
that drive domestic inflation. This has allowed the addition, for additional players to be licensed and to, be set, and to set up liquefied petroleum gas facilities, a common, use of bulk, uh, a common use of bulk storage and even handling facility for LPG will be constructed through a private sector participation framework to, en to enhance market certainty and stability in the use of LPG. This will cut costs of handling and evacuating gas from ships to the mainland and hence allowing dealers to pass through the cost of